All right. We have another great show today Hello. with a special <laughs> guest. How are you, now? I'm good, thanks. Great. Now the artist. Um, this is Sound Off Television, uh, Sonny's new edition of uh, Reaching for the Stars. Anel was originally from France. Yes. Yes, indeed. I was reading a little bit about your dad was a musician, wasn't he? Yes, he's a um, pianist. Oh, that's fantastic. And he used to, he used to um, play with uh, many artists in France. Okay. And famous one. And then he started uh, to teach. He was a teacher oh, and right. he was uh, also a pianist. But he was with um, Troubadou. I don't know if it's, it's, this word exists. <laughs> it's a kind of <laughs> um, artist that is making cabaret show. Okay. And he was rehearsing at home, in my home. Right. And he heard me singing with my father and so with them. And he asked me to come with uh, with them to sing, and right. that's how I started. I was six years old, and I was on stage singing songs. Wow, that's fantastic! Mm -hmm. Now you was telling me also you have two beautiful boys. How old are they now? They're nine and eleven. Nine yeah. and eleven. Now, what brought you into this world of uh, singing and? and what um, it's logic. It's my father. It's your I father. I was already um, always uh, surrounded by musicians, so which is a great thing. I was always in the in the music. Any kind of music too. Got you. And you, you've been playing instruments pr practically all your life, piano yeah, and so forth? Yeah, I started the piano without any scores, just by listening. Right. And so my, my father wanted me to have very serious piano lessons. Right. And I remember I was going to the, um, to the t piano, piano, piano teacher. Right. And he was playing and he wanted me to read the scores, but I was just listening to the song. And okay. then when I was going home, I was just, I would just play the song you by the ear. Song. Wow. Without any score, and my father noticed that, and he said, "No, I want you to read the score." And then he was all all, all the time with me and he trying. Saw, he already saw he saw the gift already. Yeah, Your dad's a, he's probably just from being a musician. And he told me that when I was one, right. I was singing. I couldn't speak, but I was. He was doing one note on the piano, and I was uh, reaching the right note. Wow. So Look yeah, at that. I Look was at always. You. I think I was always. It's in my blood. For it's just the just been in your blood. <laughs> now you did all types of uh, mm -hmm. in terms of arrangements. You did um you dealt with plenty of musicians throughout France, yeah. and um you've been on a couple of radio shows as well yes. that you had told me, and which is uh, which is really good. I saw some of your tapes, which was fantastic, Thank and I really you. enjoyed watching Thank you, you. now. And um how how long how what made you come to actually towards the states towards New York? Are you trying to put pursue a career over here as well? Yes, I I want to do that. And right. because um, the music I like the most is the gospel music. I don't know why, because it's the only music I wasn't really in contact with, because I was more into French music, which is not gospel at all. Right. But I remember the first time when I heard gospel music, f I felt like this is the music. Uh, I know this music already, right. and I want to, to listen to this music and to sing this music. So I was with um, a band in France, the Gospel Singers, right. the Young Gospel, and um, I performed with them. Okay. And it was a, gr a great time. I had a great time. A good and time. I like to come here to listen to gospel music and meet musicians in New York. Which is fantastic. All the musicians are amazing in New York. I have right. to say that. Okay. Amazing. So how uh, now in terms of y your length of time from a child actually singing, what when when did you find your 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 point in terms of getting to a stage actually just getting on stage and saying I I really want to do this. What was what was the year? What, how old was you then? I was six. You were and six. I, I didn't wow. decide. I was six, and they just said, "It's your turn. Go to stage." <laughs> and I had the microphone, and they right. just told me the microphone has to be at that dis dis distance from the mouth. Okay. And you have to sing your song like you learn it, and that's it. And I was on stage, wow. and after I was doing this. Okay. And then I was back in the in the backstage. In the that's backstage it. And, doing mm -hmm. it. and you have you have a wide range. I, I've heard you have when you go from low alto. So actually to a, a nice soprano yes, as well. And yes. I've seen that your range is really good. I think that's fantastic. We're going to take a listen in a little while, but I wanted to uh, also go through in terms of, you know, throughout, I read a little bit about also your dad throughout East of France. Strasbourg, uh, France is where you were born and raised? Yes. Okay. And that part, where's, that's actually when you, when you fly into France and you get off, with, with the airport, how far is Strasbourg from? Um, Strasbourg. I live in Celesta. It's um, it's in, it's like forty f minutes from Strasbourg. But okay. there's an, an airport to in Strasbourg. Oh. So when I take the airport from Strasbourg, I go to Paris right. or London. Right. And then from London to New York. See, that's a good question. Now, how far is Paris from where you live? Paris um, with a plane. Right. It's a little hour. About an hour. And there's a, an express train. Right, right. And the express train is, is two hours and, and, a la, and a half. And so it's it's very close to well, Paris. Well, that's my dream Paris. one day is to one day go to Paris. I've never been. It's supposed to be the city of love, I heard. 
Yeah, that correct? <laughs> that's the American. They like they like the French right. language, and I apologize for all the mistakes I made. <laughs> oh no! Already, I think, you, I think you're doing it. It's, and you, it's I'm something sorry. you know. And I, I can actually say this on camera. It's something how someone comes from another uh, actually another country mm -hmm. and learns the English language so mm -hmm. easy easily. I think someone from English to go over there. It's much harder. Yeah, I, I think it's yeah, unless you, I, I mean unless you really concentrate on learning the actual language. Because we l everybody knows English in France. Right. Um, that's the the, the main language, that's and the then main. after you add some German or Spanish, but um, English is a, is number one. Got you, got you. But no. even that, um, people they don't speak a lot. They don't speak a lot of English. They don't speak a lot of English. Or they have a, a really bad accent, French accent. I try to not to have, a, I hope my accent is not too Frenchy. No, no, no. Uh, I think, and it's funny because you, I, from listening to your music, you mm -hmm. actually, like your your words come out so more uh, in terms of, uh, like you know English so well. Mm -hmm. It's funny, I guess just when you're singing, it just, it just comes out a little bit. Because of listening, you know, my, right. my ear tries to make the same it's okay. like I'm, I'm working the sound gotcha. like I hear it. Right, right. And uh, when I was in my room and I was rehearsing, I never took any les um, lessons of singing. Okay. No, no, none of them. Right. And I was just, um, I said my, my teacher was Celine Dion. Okay. Or Whitney Houston. Wow. Or Aretha Frank Franklin in my, in my, and I had my brush like this and I was singing in my room. Wow. And I was rehearsing and doing, trying to do the same kind of things and the vibrato, everything, the vibrato, I learned the vibrato with right. Whitney Houston. So breathing. Yes. The breathing. And everything, so the forth. breathing, the, right. um, the high, the pitch, everything, like Celine Dion to reach high notes and wow, everything. Wow, look at that. So she was one of your influences, Whitney Houston? Yeah, Whitney right. Houston and Celine Dion. Big time. Celine Dion. Yeah, okay. in French. Fa and both American. famous artists. Yes. God rest uh, Whitney Houston to this day. I, you know, I really, we, we all miss her. Yeah, as well. she's I a miss her artist. so much. Absolutely. She was so great. Uh, she really, she and really the gospel was. music because of that too. She was singing a lot of gospel songs. A lot of gospel too. songs. So you, you, I, you was, I, there's a song that you had told me about, which I, I actually, I, I'm very interested in hearing about. A woman from Africa. What, what brought you to that type? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I feel, I feel black inside of me. So the lyrics oh. are about maybe in a past life I was black. I don't know, but I feel <laughs> like. I'm black. There's nothing wrong with that. Still, no. Right. Even I know my skin is, but the song says, don't right. look at my skin because my soul is the one, is the soul of a black woman. Woman, that's it. So, and I, I so because I'm black, I, I wanted the song to be in an African language. And I, gotcha. I, I was working with a, one of my friends right. who is from Congo. Gotcha. And he helped me to, to, to create the lyrics to write the lyrics Look at that. in Swahili. And Swahili, right? And Barack wow. Obama speaks Swahili. Uh, I really? think yes. Oh wow! Yes. Look at that. So, you did you ever meet anyone from Africa that? Yeah, it's funny because most of the time when I sing this song, nobody they just hear that it's not French, right? It's not English, and it sounds like exotic, right? And but once I had a, someone who was speaking Swahili, and he came and said, "Very good. I understood everything." I say, "Okay." Wow. So that's good. Look at that. So, so what's what's the <laughs> arrangements in reference to us? You have a CD of how many uh, how many songs? What do you have on the CD? I did one with 12 songs in French. Okay. But I also did mm, some of the French in English, so translated. Right. And um, uh, some songs that are only in English. So it's a mix of. So I don't know, I have about 20 and 25 songs that I wrote with every kind of every type of yes that's beautiful and all the songs that are waiting right like, in the process that. exactly <laughs> exactly so and you, you're going mm. on further and yet now in terms of touring would you like to do Vegas would you like to do uh, places of uh, like Atlantic City like b uh, ballrooms or whatever you can get towards when you come over towards the stage would you be interested in doing other of course I would love that right. because I like to to, see, to have an audience in front of me right you know when I'm the, the, the thing I love to do is when I'm playing the piano, just some, most of the time I'm alone with the piano. So right. um, for an artist, it's very, it can be dangerous because I'm alone with the piano and the right. audience. Exactly. But it's very close and I like this with um, the, this close aspect right. with, the, with the audience. Oh, and when I can see them in little um, uh, concert hall and I can see their faces and sometimes I can see people crying. Because I'm not singing just to sing. Right. I want to bring some emotion in my song. And that's when I see tears, right. I know that I reached 
I reached it. You reached it, exactly. The people's, the people's soul. Yeah, right, right. It's nothing like you. And it <coughs> must be great to, when individuals come up after, you, maybe after a concert that you might have done, they come up and, and, and share their Yeah, their sometimes with you. Um, I have so much example. People just they give me hugs. Wow. And they say, I will never forget you. Or once I was just uh, rehearsing in a church. Right. And there was a tourist, and she came to me and said, I will never forget this church because um, I will see the pictures and I will remember your voice in this in the church. Wow. It's like, beautiful. Okay. Look at that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> it's like exactly. it's natural. It's no not f not fake. Nothing fake. Just um, just in terms of mm. now, did you n uh, during your times growing up in reference towards where you were doing? Did you do street functions, festivals, and things of that sort? Yeah, too. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Right. Alone and with the band I was with. With the so band also. In this band was my brother. Okay. Um, so the troubadour, the right. main the artist, uh, another woman, and me. Gotcha. And my father was doing the piano. Look at that. And my mother was doing the PA system and the lights. Everybody's And then after artistic. my second brother, brother came with us too. So the whole right. family was traveling all around to do the, s the, the, the shows. That's fantastic. Look yeah. at that. that I I'm had so happy for you. This childhood was amazing. Just amazing coming yeah. up. That's good. And your mm. boys must love it also, huh? Yeah. Dude, they, li they like to do that. My bo boy mm -hmm. sometimes comes with me. Right. And he's play playing drums okay. with me on stage. Right. He likes to do that. Oh, he likes to play the drums. When I'm playing Women from Africa. He's right. coming uh, with uh, a djembe, right. and he's playing the djembe. Do you see them going towards music as well as yeah. they get older? Definitely. Yeah. Okay. One of them is playing the piano, and the other one is playing the drums. So. All right. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I, I have to do. S it's in the blood. It's so just um, in the blood. How about now? How about your dad? Is he still? Does he still? Yeah, still, and we're still doing things together too. Oh wow! Look at that. Maybe we can get him to come over to the states as and well. Um, I think we have a very special relationship, me and my dad, right? Because we have music in common, and only a musician can understand what it is Absolutely. about. No, definitely. My mother, definitely. we had, we don't have the same relationship. See, sometimes she doesn't understand when she sees my father rehearsing for hours, doing things, and being right. to totally in a bubble while right. he's playing. She doesn't understand. I do because mm. I'm I'm a musician too. So right. I understand so things, all right. the, the process of creativity. Right. Yeah. You know. Fantastic. Um, we're going to take a listen of your most current stuff. Okay. Which I uh, remember that the song is also called uh, "Rebel Beauty." Yes. I'm looking forward to hearing. This one it. is in French too, but here is the fantastic. English. Let's throw that on. Yes. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Simply beautiful. 
what I heard within that, you you can do also like Broadway, like a musical. Yeah. Because you have you can I can see your style. Now y did dad teach you also in terms of like scat? Like I see I hear like a scatting Tracy Ch Chapman type. That's my room. That uh, all this music was in my room okay. when <laughs> I was rehearsing. So yeah, uh, Aretha that. Franklin and Mahalia Jackson. Right. So all this music, I like it too. Yeah. You like you like to you 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 gave ear to everyone in terms of the, the fruitfulness of music of, of of the past up to the new, and then you put it. I'm I'm very style. versatile. That's good. That's I'm good. I'm able. To, I'm singing a lot of classic too. I'm able, so, like you said, to reach high, high notes. notes. So right. I can sing. Um, like Ave Maria. Right. Sometimes they want me to, to do that, so with no problems. Wow. Great. And I don't know how I'm doing because I never took any lesson, but I'm just, it's, I'm, I'm blessed, I guess. Thank you, because I'm, I'm just able to do that, like, very easily. Well, I have some good news for you. I have a, a production called On Point Entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, I like what I've heard from you. Next time you come back, we're going to get you in the studio. We're mm -hmm. going to do something here within the States, and we're going to see if we can get you some radio play. Yes. And I, that's, that's something that I'm, I'm going to work on for you for your next year. Your next trip back to here would be sometime within April, right? Yes, exactly. Fantastic. Is it, um, is it also a website you can give somebody? I just want them to know a little bit more about you. And is, is it now on? The artist actually on Facebook, Instagram, is there anything that you have? Yeah, I have um, a Facebook and I have a Rebel Nation where right. you can listen to my songs. Okay, great. I'll get that information. So I, I want to put that yes. on the screen so everybody knows yes, a little bit. Yes, it's easier to, to print it. Now, how to you feel, now, in terms of your, your vocals, for in terms of live performances, how do you feel about being just doing a live performance, just having your piano, you and your voice? How do you love doing that? I like it because I cannot lie. It's a way to be very honest with the with the audience. With the audience, so because I'm alone with the piano. Right. Uh, it's risky. Okay. But at the same time, and the the thing I like when I'm playing the piano is like I can do what I want. I don't have to respect the tempo. If I would I want to do something very like like I feel it, I can do it. You know. Exactly. If right. I want to add something or make the the, um, the audience sing because. I heard that they wanted to sing. Okay, let's go. Right. Because sometimes when uh, when you have a band, it's more difficult to be all together and to right. When you can, your, your arrangement is yourself when you're working exactly. with the, as one and person. Exactly, and this right. is the thing I love to do: okay. make the audience sing. That's a beautiful mm. thing. It's, it's, it's been such a pleasure. Can um, I can I hear something from you live? Yes, of course. Fantastic. So I'm gonna stand up because I actually want to see you in in the mode. Okay. <clears throat> Bimbe I, 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 
street Ha 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 I'm a woman from Africa Even if my skin is white Or my soul is deeply black Ha 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 I'm a woman from Africa All the blood that is in my hair Is coming from my ancestors' seat Ha 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 I'm a woman from Africa Even if my skin is white Or my soul is deeply black Wow Fantastic. So Thank impressive. You. Look at you. I mean, just. I, I, did, I did what I can. <laughs> yes, yes. But you just, you're just just a natural. I mean, I hear it in rough. I just love to see you. Yeah, because this piano is not the one I have on stage, and right, I can do right. much more effects. But right. a musician has always to be able to do with what he has. That's, That's it. what I learned. That's it. That's it. You, I, I think you so did a fantastic I have this, job. So I, I played with <laughs> And we'll have a better piano for you next time. It's just that yeah. we, it was a little short notice. And I, I'm so glad you came from France just to visit, I mean, all the way from France to visit us. My and pleasure. You, and it's also the, the <laughs> it's a beautiful Christmas holiday. We're not, you're not leaving us yet. Can you tell me a little bit more in terms about uh, a CD in terms of, d d is this, the two songs that you just played now, is that on your current CD? Yes. Okay. Exactly. You can find them. Right. And you can find the one I, uh, I played before okay. in English and in French. So in English, Rebel Beauty, and right. in French, Beauté Rebelle. Fantastic, fantastic. And how many songs all together on the CD? Um, on the CD, uh, I sell is 12 songs. 12 songs on the yes. CD. Okay, we're going to get you. We'll see. I would like to uh, get a copy of that. Okay. And so I can get you, because I have a, a person that's within radio that I can yeah. probably get you on, make oh, it or okay. break it. And I would love for because them to Because I made a um, um, recording in, uh, London, in, in London, um, okay. too, with only English songs. Oh, look at that. Yeah. With all the English songs. And I think well. I have like seven or eight songs that are only in English. Now, also within the, do you do anything within your own language? Do you ever sing within French? Um, in Have French, right. yes, I, I do. Yeah, I do. But m now I'm, I'm, I compose more and more in, in English. In English, you feel more comfortable. And right. the language is more, um, it's easier to sing in English. Really? It's not the same technique. Right. English is in the nose um, naturally. Like when you sing, you, you need to, to use this part of your face. Right. While French is in the, in the fro. So right. when you, you sing French, up. you have to bring it up. But naturally, the English will be here. So it's so easier the, to the see. The language actually changes the music exactly. format. Isn't yeah. that something? Exactly. Wow, that's something good to know. And I, I, I didn't know that actually. I yeah. just thought I <laughs> thought within singing, being a singer, that you still can jump from your regular language to the which you, you're comfortable now actually within English. My voice is different in French. I, I think. Right. Because it's it's I, I cannot do the same in English. Okay. Tell us the, uh, the amount of instruments that you learned coming up. How many instruments did you? I learned um, piano. Okay. I learned the flute. Right. This one, and a little bit of violin. Violin as mm -hmm. well. What did you? What you? You're more comfortable with the piano, of course. Yeah, it's my. And How'd you like the violin? Not that much because right. I couldn't sing <laughs> like this. It's <laughs> right. a little bit difficult. Yes. And this, the flute, I couldn't sing. Right. And I could sing. I could play only one note at a time, and I was missing chords and the whole thing. Right. Okay. So um, piano is my favorite. Yeah. I wanted to start guitar. Okay. But it's um, the thing with guitar is like the positive thing is that you can have your guitar with you all the time while the piano. See. I cannot bring my piano. That's the part. That's one of the parts. But yeah. the, pia the um, guitar, when you play, you have this uh, skin that is becoming very hard, you know. Right. And then when you play the piano, you don't feel the piano anymore. It's like it's not compatible to do both. I think. Exactly. I like to feel that. You know, I was piece. thinking also when you was being that you said Swahili and so forth. I could see you going over to Africa, actually uh, performing for you know the needy I mean, so forth. You would, I think, you would do a fantastic oh job. Yeah. Over there. and I would, I would right. also dance. Exactly. Dance. Oh, I you love just, to I love to dance. African dance. Yeah, of course. The kid, the, of course. the whole, uh, the whole thing. the bongos and everything. Yeah, everything. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I, I can see you. So I can much see energy you in African dance. That's that's definitely. I mean, mm. you gotta have. I love the drums when I was growing up. Yes. And something about African drums. I remember hearing African music very young. You just, it just, you felt this vibe of, of it just came naturally into your blood. Yeah. About how they played the drums, and it didn't have. Sometimes, even if it was off key, it didn't mean that it was just that. It, it might, however, they were playing, that was the. They played it in the sense of how they feel at home, yeah. being within their exactly. own skin. I thought that was always and a beautiful thing. And can be very rusty. That's just percussions and right. no, not even melodies, but. It's still, you want to dance. You want to dance and get you your stuff going. You don't need melodies. Right, right, mm -hmm. look at that. 
Well, I, I had such a great time. I want to um, I just want to discuss in reference towards our next show with, with you, which will be um, a, a, between April twelfth and April sixteenth. Okay. Will you come back and do another performance for oh, us? Oh yes, I would love that. Would you also set up in reference to doing a live show if I can set something up downtown in one of the clubs for you? Yeah. Okay. Of I'm course. Gonna, I'm gonna. I got a couple of other artists as well that's gonna uh, that I would love to bring um, with you that you'll meet. That I, I'm 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 sure they're all looking forward to meeting you as well. Cool. And I look forward to what you call. But Me I too. think um, I think this is going to be our segment. Again, our show for in terms of the segment is called Sonny's New Edition of Reaching for the Stars, which I had the pleasure of bringing on a nail. <laughs> <laughs> my <laughs> the pleasure, artist, Sonny. Thank you so which much. Which did a fantastic job. Mm. And I'm sure that um, my my other studio people in reference towards, we have a couple of the uh, things that's coming up that in, within the new, near future, I'll keep you abreast of just because when you're not in the states, you're not you don't, you won't know everything that 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 we have here that I can yeah, actually keep give you. Keep me posted about this. I'll keep you posted on everything mm -hmm. that's going. On. April show will be about you as well. So I, I'm nice. looking forward. To every time you come, Anel, please without any make sure you call me and let me know All that you're here. And I'm looking <laughs> forward time, to it. And this is another uh, broadcast of Sound Off TV for QPT TV and Time Warner. And I look forward to seeing you guys again. Thank you so much for a great time. Thank you. Bye.